Hello everyone, my name is Mitchell and I'm a GSI for X203. Today we're going to be going over an exercise regarding Hamiltonian circuits, and just from the textbook, anything you can find with Rosen. So um, yeah, let's just hop right into it. So we have another video talking about Eulerian circuits as well, which is when you visit every single edge within a given graph and return to the same node that you began with. Um, Hamiltonian circuits are similar, where you try to visit every single vertex instead. So you're going to want to try to visit every vertex and then get back to where you started originally. Now, unlike Eulerian circuits, however, um, Hamiltonian circuits don't necessarily have a shortcut to be able to do it. With Eulerian circuits, you would know that if every node had an even degree, then it would contain an Eulerian circuit and vice versa. Um, Hamiltonian circuits aren't quite the same. They don't really have a set rule, but we can still sort of intuit our way through questions like these. So. Let's just start off with the first example, with question 30. Um, we want to see whether or not it has a Hamiltonian circuit. So in other words, can we find some way to get around everything, sort of just like this, maybe? Um, and I think that if on inspection, we'll notice that we have kind of an issue with these center two nodes right here. Um, notably, whenever you start on either side of this, um, it's going to be hard for us to be able to get back to where we started. So in this case, we started at D. We then visited E, then F. And if we want to visit the entirety of the left-hand side of the graph, like a Hamiltonian circuit requires, we'd need to sort of leave this right-hand side and do everything else. But then from there, we're stuck. We visited every other, every other node already, and we can't exactly get back. So stuff like this, where you kind of see a bottleneck or other situations like such, um, can be indicative of things not having a Hamiltonian cycle, such that this doesn't. Um, for 31, we have a much more friendly graph for our purposes, I'd like to say. Um, I say friendly in the sense that there's a lot of edges for us to work with. Um, the more edges there are, the more likely it is that there is a Hamiltonian cycle, circuit cycle, same thing, because there's a lot of different ways we can go about finding it. Um, and I will note that if you have just a standard cycle, as such that you can see very easily. You also have a Hamiltonian cycle. So that's just one example of one that works, but there are a lot others likely, maybe not, but that's just an example of one that works. Um, whenever you can see like a standard cycle, it'll also pass as a Hamiltonian cycle. Um, then thinking about question 32, um, can we have a Hamiltonian cycle here? And the first thing that I noticed that kind of sticks out like a sore thumb is this node of F which seems a little bit confusing to me because in order for us to have a Hamiltonian cycle, that means we need to, well, visit every node and also come back to where we started. So no matter what, if we do decide to start at F and then we leave it, we won't be able to get back to it. And even if we didn't start at F and we started somewhere else, that means we'd still have to visit F at some point, right? So let's say we went here, but then from there we're stuck because we can't go back to a node that we already went to. So 32 also doesn't have a Hamiltonian cycle of any sort. And then by similar logic, 33 has three of these nodes that kind of stick out like sore thumbs um, for the similar reasoning of you're not gonna be able to get back to where you started or be able to leave once you enter it. Um, 33 also will not have a Hamiltonian cycle. So again, just as a visual, if we were to start at E and leave it, um, then we can do whatever we want, but then we won't really be able to get back to E in, in the first place, which is what which is required for a Hamiltonian sort of circuit. And similarly, even if we were to start at A instead, um, once we go here, we won't have anywhere else to go. Remember that you can technically traverse this edge again, but going back to C means you visit the node C again. So that doesn't exactly work either. Um, and yeah. So general gist of this is that Hamiltonian circuits don't really have a shortcut way of knowing uh, whether or not they exist. You kind of have to intuit some reasons as to why they wouldn't work. But if you can find one, then it is great. And it's always, almost always going to look exactly like a regular circuit that you've seen before.